Well, today is International Women's Day and it's a day that we get together as a community and celebrate our social, political and economic achievements for women. But it's also a day that we need to remember that there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, when it comes to economics, uh, women who work in industries like early childhood education, which is a predominantly female workforce, uh, the wages are still very low. Caring for children is still considered largely a woman's role. So we've got a lot of work to do to help lift um, wages in terms of pay equity for some of our sectors. In terms of social and community, um, the levels of domestic violence and family violence are still grossly too high and our courts are being choked by the work involved. So we've still got a lot of work to do to, um, in the preventative sphere as well as the supporting sphere for women and families to make sure that they, they can live a life without violence and that it's, it's not a hidden issue. Um, and the work that's being done by, by this centre, by women's organisations, by legal organisations to promote this issue is important. And then on, on the political level, um, we, we do have our first female Prime Minister. We do, in this generation, have more women in Parliament. But we're still not at 50%. We've still got a long way to go in terms of women's representation and ensuring that politics is a space that all can engage in regardless of gender. And I do believe today on International Women's Day we should acknowledge that, that it's still quite a blokey space politics and that as a community it's, it's a day where we can say, you know what, enough of that. Whether it be in the home, whether it be in the work, whether it be public or private, it's a day where men and women can come together to say we're together and enough.